Hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family Making angels in the sand, you ready? Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my heart Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said it is just get better on a So I thought I would tell y'all why there is a heart on the bottom of this one And where is it? The star on the bottom of this one so my kids are super sneaky and if they see their name on a present, I already have some presents under the tree, but if they see their name on a present, they will like obsess over it, shake it, see what's in it, count how many, who has what and all of that. So what I've done is I have put shapes on the bottom of each one and each shape coordinates with a child. So I have them down in my, in my notes on my phone so I don't forget. <clears throat> whose shape is whose um, and that way the kids don't obsess over them so all of these except for my husband's have um, shapes on them which I probably should have done shapes on his too because he's pretty sneaky when it comes to checking out gifts too but so anyways um, on Christmas morning in their stockings I will put a piece of paper like um, I'll cut out a piece of wrapping paper like this and I will put their shape on the um, paper in the bottom of their stockings. That way Christmas morning they find out which presents are theirs. Excuse me. I'm trying to talk here and you're trying to grab the camera out of my, out of my hand. But anyways, if you guys have sneaky kids like mine that obsess over Christmas presents, that's a good way to... That's a good way to disguise them. Some people suggested like doing different colored bows or something, but my kids always end up ripping off the bows. Like I will be so surprised if this ribbon and string actually makes it to Christmas morning. And if I put like a colored bow on there, Cash and Cooper would just destroy it. And then I would be clueless as to whose gift was whose. So that's how we're doing it at our house this year. Right. And the next year I'll change up the shapes. That way they never know which shape they are that year. Right, and then I'll have to add shapes to yours. Good morning. I'm getting in my car, obviously. Look at me, I'm putting on my seatbelt correctly as well. I'm, so many people have harped on me for putting my seatbelt like underneath me, like underneath my armpit here. And it's just a habit. And I am making a conscious decision to put it on the right way every time. So Cash and Mommy are headed out to run some errands. You know what that means. Actually, I have no idea what we're doing, but I have been cooped up in the house for a few days and I needed to get out of the house today. So um, the boys are at school. Jeff has two business calls that he's working on, so that's why Cash and I left, so that he could talk in peace because Cash is a screamer and he just like, screams to hear himself scream for no reason so I didn't want him to have to be like talking and listening to Cash screaming in the background so what is going on here there is always always cops in our neighborhood um, they love to just hang around the neighborhood and right now they're actually building a school um, it's gonna be ready here in like three weeks or four weeks I guess whenever the kids go back to school after Christmas time and it is literally in my neighborhood and instead of having to wake up in the morning super early and take Carter to school about 20 ish minutes out of the way um, it takes me about 15 to get there and 15 to get back so like 30 minutes 
Um, the school is literally in our neighborhood, so it is going to take me all of maximum five minutes to get him there. We could actually walk, and whenever it gets um, warmer, I'm definitely gonna be walking to pick him up, take a stroller. It's gonna be so nice, and I am so pumped. Um, anyways, that is beside the point. And I was talking about cops and police officers, and I don't, I'm not really even sure where that came from, but what I was gonna say is that there's so many cops in our neighborhood just prowling, waiting for you to go five miles over the speed limit. I know because I've gotten a, a ticket over there for going five over. Yeah, so now that there's gonna be a school there, they're gonna be even like more crazy about stopping people. So every time I drive through there, I'm like, looking around for cops because I know that they're out to get me. I love to drive and talk clearly. I, f I hope you guys are not annoyed with my driving and talking vlogs. I feel like sometimes that's all vlogs are, are me talking in the car, but it's literally like therapy for me. I'm paying attention to the road when I'm talking, so it's just like I'm talking to some imaginary person who's not even here, and they can't talk back to me, so it's just really therapeutic to sit and talk about my own thoughts. That makes me sound like a crazy person. Okay, do you guys wanna come inside Target with me? And I will vlog while I'm in there. Cause sometimes like, I'm, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to Target and then I don't take the camera in with me just because I feel like you guys are like, oh my God, just going to Target again. Yeah, I am. It's your favorite place in the world. You better sit down. You better stay sitting down. <laughs> Looks like these are 20% off. This is on Sydney's Christmas list. But if I get her one, I'm probably gonna have to get Carter one too. You wanna go get some Starbucks? You want a cheese Danish? Just always lean in your shoe. Look, And this is cash every time we come to Target. See, mommy lets me get a cheese danish. This was my piece though. Can I have my piece? You're gonna be a mess. Jeff wants some slippers with a hard sole on the bottom. Let's see. These are nice. So this one is the one that Cooper always looks at. And this one. Probably this one because he can drive it. I don't even know what this does. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I really want this shirt. They don't have my size. All they have is large is an extra large. So this is Sydney's Christmas list. And I'm trying to go through it. I love how she cut this stuff out and put it on the on the paper. It's so cute. So this one right here looks like they're gone. 
That's all right. So cute. So we have just a few minutes before I have to go and pick up um, Cooper from school. We've got about, he gets out in like 40 minutes and his school is about 10 minutes down the road from where I'm at. So we have just a little bit of time to kill. So I'm gonna run into Dillard's right here, into the mall and see if they have the Estee Lauder uh, double wear foundation because I've been wanting to try that for a while and I don't know if they carry it in the store but we're gonna go find out and all I have is the double stroller right now um, so I'm gonna pull out the double stroller with just cash but all good They have it. I can't find anyone that works here. So I'm now in the pickup line to get Carter from school. Um, I did get the foundation that I wanted to. Um, they had she color matched me, so she put this little thing on my face. The same thing that they did at Sephora to one time. They put this thing on your face, and it takes pictures of like three different areas, and then it color matches you to their foundation. That is so cool. I think it's just so cool how they can do that because I'm always like freaked out about getting the wrong color. So anyways, she got the color and I got some. They were having like a 15% off discount so that made the foundation a little bit cheaper because it's not the cheapest foundation. So I hope that I like it. I'll start wearing it tomorrow and see how it goes. Um, I already dropped off all of my kids' names like literally run together. I already dropped off cash. So I picked... I got the foundation, I picked up Cooper, I drove home, dropped off Cooper and Cash with Jeff, and now I'm in the line to get Carter. There we go. So I wanted to get on here and talk to y'all. Um, I feel like I'm having a hard time vlogging lately because there's a lot of things that I don't share. And I know that it's okay. It's my life, it's my channel. I don't have to share everything, but but some people are just so good at being able to share everything about their life. And I feel like I am a little bit more private and I can't decide if I like that or if I don't. Like part of me wants to be able to share. Part of me doesn't want to share. I mean, I just wish that I could be more open and I feel like it might make me more interesting if I was more open but at the same time like I want some things to be for just me so I'm having a hard time with like striking a balance I want to be open with you guys and share things um I just also want to keep some things private and it's a really hard balance because I think that being able to share things and open up makes you more definitely more vulnerable for one but like more interesting you know people want to be like all up in your life and know what's going on every step of the way and then part of me is like I really want to hold things in I am naturally not a person who shares like I naturally am keep everything to myself I'm not like I don't offer up information easily so for one just having a vlog channel in general is or a YouTube channel it's like way out of my box for me like this is not I am not a person who likes to share everything so having this channel is a huge like out of the box thing for me I'm more concerned that like I'm going to get criticized I am gonna get criticized like that's not a question of if I am it's that I am and I don't want to be criticized I don't want people to judge my decisions and I would rather just live in my own bubble it's complicated it's very complicated and I feel like as a youtuber and as a vlogger you're expected to be very open and I get that but I'm just having a hard time with it Crunchies, they're not that delicious, but you can have some if you want some. Up 
that delicious. I need you to sit down and, pl and buckle your seatbelt though. How was your day? Did you do anything fun? On your head, like Bubba's? No, okay, okay. Let's see. Turn around. I'll we'll see what I can do. <laughs> no. I don't think it's gonna go on your head. Go get a jacket. Where's your jacket at? You probably left it in the car. Oh my gosh. Yes. Go find a jacket. Carter, go help him find a jacket in his closet. It has a hood. Go with Bubba and get a jacket. <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> oh look, we found a hoodie. Wow. Okay. That. Where's Cooper? Boo! Where's Cooper? Where's Cooper? <gasps> there he is! Come here. Who smells like poop? Which one of you pooped? Carter, did you poop in your poop? <laughs> Cooper, did you poo poo? No. Cash poo poo? No. Somebody poo poo. Choo 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 choo. Mama. What? Choo choo. Ooh, that's a good dance, honey. Choo 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 choo. I made blue jello yesterday, so the boys are Mama. eating Mama. some jello. What, Cooper? Peas. Peas. You want what? Oh, it's juicy, please. Juicy, please? Yeah. Okay. Take a bite. Mm. Is it good? Oh, thumbs up. High five. Yeah. How is it? Dog. So, right now, I am... I gotta fix this or this is gonna drive me crazy. Waiting on a pizza to get here. Um, it is so cold outside tonight, and that has nothing to do with ordering a pizza, but it is literally so cold. I just turned on the heater, which might sound crazy, but we live in Texas, and the last few days have been like 80 degrees, and all of a sudden it's cold. So we're waiting on a pizza because I originally was going to cook some chicken, and then I fell asleep. Um, not for long, but the boys were sitting on me. Cash was asleep and I had, I was laying in the recliner and Cooper was laying on one side and Carter was laying on the other side and they had their iPads and I closed my eyes and fell asleep. I have just been so tired lately and I feel like I get enough sleep at night, but I don't know what's going on. I just, I, I feel like I needed a nap. So closed my eyes for a few minutes and then um popped up and was like oh my gosh it's dinner time and i want pizza jeff has um baseball stuff tonight so that's where he's at right now and on the nights where he has baseball i'm like why do i cook he doesn't even get home till late and i just it's so hard for me to cook i need to be better about doing it but i just didn't feel like it tonight i'm just wrapping some more presents i just wrapped like three more presents slowly trying to get them wrapped and get out of my closet because Cash or Cooper the other day found Cash's Christmas present underneath the bed. If you guys saw my gift guide video, um, this was in the gift guide video and Cooper found it underneath the bed. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. That way I can start uploading and everything and I believe I'm gonna vlog tomorrow as well. Yes, honey. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. I would love to have you here and I will see you guys on my next vlog. Bye. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean.